Welcome to SuperOps.ai, a powerful platform designed to streamline operations for IT and managed service providers. Whether you're just starting out or looking for advanced tools to manage your work efficiently, SuperOps has everything you need. In this video, we'll explore its features step by step and by the end, you'll be ready to navigate it like a pro. So once you log into SuperOps.ai, you will land on the Home tab, which serves as your dashboard. Here you'll find an overview of your tasks, notifications, and real-time updates. So let's break it down. As you can see, here are all of your alerts right here. And also you can even tap on this widget library. And basically, like I said, it's all just a dashboard for your activities on Super Ops. You could even look at all of your tickets over here and look at the clients and basically just a summary of everything that's going on right now in your account. This tab is your productivity hub giving you a snapshot of everything you need at a glance. Moving on is the Workspace tab, which is where the magic happens. This is your control center for managing projects and teams. Here's what you can do. You can create a new ticket and basically enter the ticket subject, like what is the ticket about and describe it over here, whether it's an incident or choose a client, or you could choose a client site requester and you could even choose a template. But basically, this is how you can create new tickets by tapping on that create thing over there. This is where it's going to appear. As you can see, all of these are different tickets that are already in your workspace. You could even check all of the tasks so that you could know which ones are coming up or know which ones are in their due date. If you scroll down through the list, you can see that there's also projects over here. You can check these out. You could check group tickets my tickets, and basically all of these different things that give you different lists and different specific organized things and different specific organized lists and different specific organized things. Moving on, we have the Clients tab. Managing your clients has never been easier. The Clients tab is where you can add, organize, and access client information. Key features are client profiles, ticket management, and performance metrics. For the client's profiles, you can actually just tap on your client's profiles over here. And here you can see contact details, contracts, and project history. Like as you can see, level one support, you could even have like these little roles for them. The asset overview, ticket status tracker, alerts dashboard, invoices, SLA branch overview, subscription reminders. And yeah, that's pretty much what the clients tab is all about. It's an overview of all of your clients. You could also create clients. Or when you get new clients, you could add their contacts, their names, the client name over here, uh, their logo or their profile picture, the site, associated domains, and much more. But basically, this tab helps you maintain strong relationships with your clients by keeping everything organized and easily accessible. Moving up, we have the dashboard. One of my favorite features. The dashboard allows you to visualize your data and monitor performance metrics in real time. So here is how you can use it. You could add these customizable widgets. As you can see, I have total, open, resolve, closed. They are all different things that we can edit. And you could even import things from different websites. You could also have these filters and insights, filter data by timeframes, clients, or projects to get detailed insights. And you could share this dashboard. Like what I said, you can share it to other websites or you could import things into here from other websites. So yeah, this tab is perfect for tracking goals and making data-driven decisions. Now the product onboarding tab is your guide to mastering super ops. Whether you're a beginner or need a refresher, this section has all the resources you need. The key features, step-by-step -step guides. You can have step-by-step -step guides or tutorials to help you set up the platform. And interactive walkthroughs, you can learn how to use advanced tools with hands-on examples. Support articles, access FAQs, or frequently asked questions and troubleshooting tips anytime. This ensures you're never stuck and always maximizing the platform's potential. So here you could even book a demo from someone named Monica, which I'm assuming is someone from the team, the Super Ops team. You could become proactive, troubleshoot at light speed, manage your team better. As you can see, like I said, these are all just tips and tutorials on how to get you better at using super ops and then we have assets this is where you can manage all your it assets in one place add 
monitor, and track the life cycle of devices, software, and more. You can categorize assets, organize them by type, location, or client, and track health updates, monitor asset performance, and receive alerts for updates or issues. This feature is a must-have for IT management. So as you can see, there's columns, filters, and these are all of your assets, whether pending approval, failed, latest, or all patches. You could have the alerts over here, the maintenance on your dashboard, network monitoring, where you have probes, network scans, discovered assets, and all of your assets are over here, which you can tap on and then you can see. And finally, the settings tab. This gives you control over your SuperOps AI account. Here you can customize preferences, adjust notification settings and interface themes, manage users, add or remove team members and assign roles, integrations, connect with third-party apps like Slack, Zapier, or QuickBooks for seamless workflow. Let's quickly tap on our profile over here. And you could tap on your profile over here and then quickly check the account details like your name, your username, your emails, your phone number, your logo basically, and much more of those things from down here. As you can see, there are a lot to make sure that you are basically well surrounded by information because SuperOps wants you to learn about their website and basically they want you to have fun with it or basically enjoy the features of their website. And yeah, that wraps up our tour of superops.ai. We've covered the home tab, workspace, clients, dashboards, product onboarding, assets, and settings. As you can see, this platform has everything you need to simplify your operations and boost productivity. With that being said, SuperOps isn't just a tool. It's a solution designed to make your work easier, more efficient, and more productive. Whether you're an IT professional, a managed service provider, or an MSP, or part of a growing team, this platform has everything you need to scale your operation. So what's next? Now that you've seen what SuperOps can do, I encourage you to dive in and explore the platform on your own. Try creating a project, setting up dashboards, or adding client information. The more you use it, the more you'll discover how powerful and intuitive it is. If you found this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments down below if the tutorial worked or if you have any questions. And lastly, I'd love to hear from you. What's your favorite feature of SuperOps so far? Or do you have any questions about how to use the platform? And if you do, make sure to go to their website and basically look at their help center so that you can ask questions yourself if you do have any because they have a lively support team that will help you anytime. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you and goodbye.